everybody. You know how I've told you I haven't been sleeping? Well, it finally caught up with me. I went to bed about 8 o'clock last night and didn't get up till about 8 o'clock this morning. It's about noon right now, so I've been kind of doing a little bit of decorating and organizing and stuff like that. But I didn't get to watch the vlog last night before Kevin published it. And I'm very angry with him because he left out... A very important part as to why Jason from Friday the 13th is my favorite scary monster. So I'm going to tell you guys real quick. I had gone to the movies to see it. My sister wanted to go see it, so I went with her. At the very end, I said I had to go to the bathroom. She said, you're going to miss the end. I said, I already seen it. It's okay. So I snuck out. And then be, I didn't go to the bathroom. I went behind the seats and I ducked down behind where she was sitting. And just as Jason jumps up out of the water and grabs the actress in the boat by her neck, I jumped up from behind my sister and I grabbed her around the neck. The whole theater screamed because it was a scary scene anyway, but nobody screamed as loud as my sister did. And everybody looked back at my sister and <coughs> the people around us just started busting up laughing. It was so funny. So that is what Kevin cut out. That is why Jason is my favorite scary monster. And just wanted to fill you guys in on that. And he will not cut this one out because I will kick his butt. So I'm going to get some lunch. We got some errands to run today. We didn't go get the coffin last night. We're going to pick it up on Monday. So yay, we got another coffin. People must think we're weird when we carry coffins into our house, but hey, you know, I don't care. So I'm going to grab something to eat, relax a little bit, and maybe do a little bit more decorating. Oh, and real quick, Kevin forgot to put the link to John Ambler, who is one of our community neighbors, to his marching band routine to Pink Floyd the Wall. So I added that today. Like a child at Christmas. So I'm at Cole's again with Megan. Oh, you're on camera? And, hello camera. <laughs> We're not buying bras this time, but she needs clothes for work. She needs pants and acceptable shirts. Apparently someone complained about her work attire. So, yes, we are at Kohl's. I am in a Kohl's wheelchair this time and pushing around a little Kohl's cart instead of piling all these clothes on top of me this time so yeah but Megan takes forever to shop so we'll be a while okay so we're in the dressing room now and kind of like Megan's bra situation she brings in about 40 50 things of clothes to try on This over here is all stuff she wants to try on. This over here is all stuff she wants to try on. All the stuff she's holding. All the stuff laying down over there. And Try the camera to make it. She's done pulling everything out. Okay, so we finished with shirts, except for one. And she's going out to try and find one in a different size that she likes so and it looks like she's only picked out three shirts that she liked out of about 20 that she brought in to try on so we'll see so we went through a bunch of pants already she just took a bunch out that were definite nose and she's picking up two more pair that are different sizes that she's going to try. We got a pile here that are possible maybe yeses. And then when she gets back, she has all these shirts that she wants to try on. So we will see what happens. Hi, honey. Hey, sweetie. What are you doing? Oh, you know what we forgot to put it is the cushion. I'll be okay with it for tonight without it. I'm gonna strap you to the hood.
You did that to me last <laughs> time. I'm gonna report you. So I made Kevin come home and take me out for dinner because I didn't want to cook and I don't want to have dead bird again. What are you going to eat then? I'm going to have dead cow. Dead cow. All right. I don't get steak all the time because I know I'm not supposed to have a lot of it, but we're going out, so I'm going to have dead cow. All and right. we're going to Applebee's. Whoopie dees. And then we're going to go to Walmart and look at their Halloween stuff and PetSmart because we need to get some stuff for the pets. And then we're going to go maybe to Halloween Club and then to Target. Okay. Then Kevin's got to go home and do a vlog. Yay. So what did you get from BP? Almost got chicken. <laughs> no, you didn't get chicken. So, but I decided to get a burger. You almost got that burger. Uh, mushroom Swiss burger, I think, is what I got. Yeah. That sounds yummy. It's a burger. I got steak and mushrooms and I know. That's why we're here. Because you love me. Yes. You came here specifically for me so I can get a steak. That's right. And I got a yummy one with steak and mushrooms and potatoes. Because you know me, I'd rather go home and have a... A soup. A top ramen. Then sitting here. We're wasting time. Yeah. It's for our anniversary. We didn't do anything for our anniversary. Let's consider this our anniversary dinner. Yay. <laughs> you should be happy. We should be celebrating. We're still in love at nine years. Yay. <laughs> Burger and steak. <laughs> Yummy, yummy, dead cow, potatoes, mushrooms, and onions. Yummy, yummy hamburger with french fries. Just chopped up, dead cow. <laughs> okay, so we are at PetSmart picking up some rat treats. Yes. So they don't bite Kevin's finger. They say I like to bite my finger. <laughs> What do you think? I think they usually get these. Yogurt drops or whatever the hell they are. They actually smell good. They smell like yogurt. You gonna get more than one flavor? No. Forget them. They go through them so fast. Oh man. Oh man. There. Okay, so we're getting apricot mango and cherry vanilla. Cherry so Lookie 888 said that we should get Mama her own cat tree. So we're looking at some different cat trees here. Back up a little bit, dear. This one here is a pretty nice one and it's only $80. It's got two places for her to lay, but neither one of them are real, like, soft. But we still got more down there to look. This one is really nice. It's got a soft spot on the bottom, and then it's got two other places to lay. She might feel kind of secure in that one, because she's got a tunnel in that one, and then she's got the top, but it's not real tall. Might be able to put some, uh, uh shelving around the top of the room. They could sit up on the on the roof, up on top, so that they're above everything. Which is what he really wants. He wants them to be able to be on top, so that they can look down. Yeah. And we got, well, that carpet that we pulled up is probably all no good, so we'll yes. have to maybe see if we can find some remnant somewhere. So we can make, like, a little climb and, you know, carpet the, the, what you're going to put around the top of the room. Right. So we can make something probably better and then also, you know, get little cat beds and, and in the corner just build like a little corner shelf and put a cat bed there and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, we can like do all that. kinds of stuff. Yeah, so we could probably make something better than, than what we can do here. So. so we found, we're trying to find a cat toy also to play with Bootsy because Lookie 888 said that that could be part of what her issue is. Whoa, I'm moving. Uh, 
So we found this, which has a stick here that I guess is, you could change the toys on it. Uh-huh. It's, yeah, it's got a little chain. Yeah. Round chain, and you can pick up either one of these. And I think we have another one of those sticks at home, and that could would be good because then I could also make uh, have a toy that I could take upstairs and try and play with Mama with it as well. Right. So they would each have their own specific so one. So it didn't smell like somebody else. Right. So I think that might be a good idea. Okay. You don't make a very good shopping cart. <laughs> I've been a shopping cart with Megan twice and now with you. <laughs> well, actually with you too at the Halloween stores. Well, we're going to have to put a cart on the end of this thing or something. <laughs> so. Hey, everybody. Guess what time it is. Hey. What? You don't touch my ghosts. Oh, I get poked again. I'm just poking your pumpkins. Uh, all right. He's a pumpkin eater. Shout out time. Yay! Okay, it's better. <laughs> okay, one of our neighborhood community members needs some prayers and thoughts. <coughs> Janet Johnson is having some major health issues, so if everyone can please keep her in your thoughts and prayers, I would greatly appreciate that. Um... The Abyss 92882 wants to know what our favorite music is. Mine's easy. Country. Country. Second is older rock. Not like the new rock stuff, but old rock like Zeppelin, The Who, you know, stuff like that. The dead, Grateful Dead, you know, I'm a dead head. Yeah? Well, okay. You're not a dead head. I'm not a dead head? No, you're not a dead head. I just, well, I like Grateful Dead. Very, but you're not a dead head. I'm not a dead head, but I like Grateful Dead. But my favorite is country. My all time favorite band in the world right now, I would have to say, is. The band Perry. Okay. Okay, your turn. Well, you know, I did happen to be a musician at one time. And I have played pretty much everything, every style. But the music I listen to all the time is jazz. She won't let me, she won't listen to it when I'm in my car. I have to turn my music off. The only jazz I really like, I like Nora Jones. But, um, it's, uh, I, I like old rock, but it would be what would be considered old alternative or old uh, like jazz who? fusion, like uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Oh, I like it. And I like uh, Jethro Tull. I like it. Uh, hey, why don't you listen to any of it? I have it in my car all the time. I like... Crosby, Stills, Nash, and sometimes Young. I like them. I have some of that on my iPod. Well, okay. But she won't listen to my whatever I have in the car? That's because he always puts the stuff on that I don't like. If he puts the stuff on that I do like, then I would be fine. Uh-huh. Uh. Anyway, we did the Halloween tag last night, and I guess that Halloween tag was created by Andy and Tay. So thanks for creating that. That was a lot of fun. And we tagged three people. We tagged um, Meet the Presleys, Lucy Blue Bones, Lucy, Lucy Owl Blue Bones, and you tagged, say your name. Dana Beesaw. Dana Beesaw. But I want to tag more people because it was so much fun and people commented on it. And I think everybody, will you stop poking me? <laughs> And I think so many people will have a good time answering these questions. So I have a few more people I want to tag. And I'm going to tag you. Tanya Longley, you have been tagged. <laughs> the Oreo family, you have been tagged. 
Rex25059, and Katie Caroline. The two of you have been tagged to do a brother-sister tag. <laughs> Gareth and Kaylin Bodden, you have been tagged. <laughs> Angie Lupus Life, you have been tagged. And we welcome anyone else that is watching our vlogs to please go ahead and do the Halloween tag. Oh, we'll it, ta let's tag the Abyss while we're at it because he's... Oh, yeah! The Abyss, out. The Abyss. But I don't know, does he make vlogs? Do you make vlogs, the Abyss? Yeah, if you yeah, don't yeah, yeah, he does. Does he? Yeah, he did the... Um, um, Ice Bucket Ice Challenge. Bucket That's challenge, right. So we know he can do the it. The Abyss, you <laughs> have been tagged. To tag. And anybody out there that wishes to do this Halloween vlog... This Halloween tag, please go ahead and do it. It was so much fun just answering the questions, and we tag anybody who really, really wants to just do it for the fun of it. It's fun. Yay. It's time for our neighborhood community credit roll. I have to do it right in his ear. How's your hearing, dear? What? <laughs> Okay, now, now Katie Caroline says you need to learn how to do this. She does. She said I have to, she'll, she'll Skype and she'll learn how to do it too. So, but you need to help. Okay, ready? You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. <laughs> now you're making me laugh. What are you doing, the Macarena over there? Ignore him. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you all. We love you. Thank you. I think I got it all. I don't know. He's distracting me so much. Pumpkin. I'm going to have to say it all over again. No, you don't. Thumbs up, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. We didn't get to do this yesterday, and Kevin wouldn't let me turn the camera back on to do it, so I'm doing it today. Ten days, no injuries. What is that? Eighteen more days, Crimson Fairy, and we're going for lobster. <laughs>